Now, there are calls tonight for the government to set up a task force to protect Lancashire's civil aerospace industry. It comes as engine maker Rolls-Royce announced it is cutting 9,000 jobs, leading to fears of redundancies at its two sites in Barnoldswick. Peter Marshall reports. These are unsettling times for workers at the two Rolls-Royce sites in Barnoldswick. The company employs around 740 people here as part of its civil aerospace division. Rolls-Royce has warned that that division, which does have a number of sites in the UK, will take the brunt of the job losses announced today. Rolls-Royce says because discussions have to take place with unions, it's not in a position at this stage to say where any job losses might be made, or if and how the Barnoldswick sites could be affected. Privately, workers here say they've been told they may get more information next week. In the town centre, there are obvious concerns. Rolls-Royce is a large employer here. It's a knock-on effect to every business. It's not just Rolls-Royce. Then you've got your supply chain and, and little businesses like us, so, yeah, it has a knock-on effect to everybody. At the local florist, similar concerns. You know, people don't treat themselves to flowers if, you know, if money's tight. Uh, and there's so many people locally who do rely on, you know, Rolls-Royce. Lancashire has the fourth largest aerospace cluster in the world, but its civil aerospace sector is under pressure from the pandemic and a fall in aircraft being built globally. We need a civil aerospace task force setting up by the government to enable us to look at support for the whole sector because the importance is the fact that all of those companies are co-located within Lancashire. That's what gives them their strength, their development partners are local and it becomes a real inward investment destination globally to send money into Lancashire and support the sector for the good of the UK. So we need to look at sectoral support now. Workers here will be watching developments closely. Peter Marshall, BBC Northwest Tonight, Bon Oldswick.